insulin and melatonin would tell you that dinner isn't really an option. You shouldn't really be eating dinner. Oh, for fuck's sake. What I like is breakfast and what I call dinner. And that's how the Greeks ate too. What does that have to do with anything? When you do that, your body can process all that food. Whoa. Very convincing. But do you really have to have dinner to avoid body fat gain? A sweeping systemic review found that size of late evening meals does not impact obesity or excess weight gain. Other large-scale studies have found when a person eats in relation to when they wake or sleep has no bearing on body weight, fat loss, or cardiometabolic health. Whoa. When total daily calories are equated, there doesn't appear to be a difference in fat loss regardless of when a person eats. Wild fear-mongering over alterations in hormone levels, metabolic rate, or effects on adipose gene expression simply don't matter because these minute changes make zero difference in real-world outcomes. Wow. It's true though. There is something you should consider. Although it appears that eating later in the evening does not cause fat gain beyond total calorie content, there is a catch. Cutting out nighttime calories may lead to fat loss if it lowers total calories. But studies suggest many people take in nearly 50% of their daily calories at or after dinner, and one out of three people eat 15% of their total daily calories after 11 p.m. So although time of day is not inherently dangerous, being conscious of how much we eat at night is critical.